Hi everyone, welcome to ParkMess. In this video, I am going to find the value of x plus y, where the values of x square minus y square and x y's are given in this question. So let's start the video. First of all, we will write solution and we will take this equation to find the value of x plus y. So the equation is x square minus y square is equal to 9. First of all, we will take square on both sides. x square minus y square whole square is equal to 9 square. And next step, we will use the famous algebraic identity here. That is a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 times a b by using this algebraic formula we can write this equation as x square into whole square plus y square whole square minus 2 times x square y square is equal to here 9 square is 81 because 9 times 9 is 81. Now again, here in this equation, we will use the famous two exponential properties that are a raised to power m or raised to power n can be written as a raised to power m n. And the second exponential property is a raised to power x multiply b raised to power x can also be written as a times b or raised to power x. By using these exponential properties in this equation, it will become x raised to power 4 plus y raised to power 4 minus 2 times from these two variables, we will take two common. So it will become x, y, whole power 2 is equal to 81. Now here we will put the value of x, y that is given in the question, which is 3. So this equation will become x power 4 plus y power 4 minus 2 times its value is 3 whole square is equal to 81 again x power 4 plus y power 4 minus 2 times 3 power 2 means multiply 3 2 times so 3 times 3 is 9 is equal to 81 now we will multiply this result and we will shift it to the right hand side so it will become x power 4 plus y raised to power 4 minus 9 times 2 is 18 is equal to 81. Next, we will shift minus 18 to the right hand side. So it will become x raised to power 4 plus y raised to power 4. When we shift it to the right hand side, so it will be added to 81. So 1 plus 8 is 9 and 8 plus 1 is 9. Next, we can write x power 4 as x square into whole square plus similarly for y, y square into whole, whole square is equal to 99. No my dear, here on the left hand side again we will use the algebraic identity that is a square plus b square is equal to a plus b whole square minus 2 times a b by using this identity in the left hand side so it will become x square plus y square whole square minus 2 times x square times y square is equal to 99. Here 
again we will take square common from these two variables so it will become x square plus y square whole square minus 2 times x y whole square is equal to 99 now again we will put the value of x y that is 3 which is given in the question so this equation will become x square plus y square whole square minus 2 times its value is 3 whole square is equal to 99 as 3 square is 9 and 9 times 2 is 18 so next this equation will become x square plus y square whole square and we will shift this 18 to the right hand side so it will be added with 99 so 9 plus 8 is 17 7 1 will be carried and 9 plus 1 is 10 10 plus 1 is 11 so it is 117 now we will take square root on both sides so it will become taking square root square root of x square plus y square whole square is equal to square root of 117 here this square and this square root will be cancelled with each other so only x square plus y square will be left next we will do further steps here on the left hand side only x square plus y square as left is equal to and the right hand side is plus minus square root of 117 so there are two possible values of this term that are x square plus y square is equal to plus square root of 117 and the second value is x square plus y square is equal to minus 100 minus square root of 117 as we see that it is x square and it is y square and these are real numbers so we know that the square of two real numbers cannot be a negative number so it is always a positive and this result is negative so it cannot be possible that it is the value of this one so we will ignore this solution and we will only further simplify this so to solve it further again we will use the famous algebraic identity that is a square plus b square can be written as a plus b whole square minus 2ab so by using this identity we can write this equation as x plus y whole square minus 2 times x y is equal to square root of 117 next again we will put the value of x y that is 3 in this equation so it will become x plus y whole square minus 2 times 3 and we can write 117 as 9 times 13 because 9 times 13 gives him 117 further simplify it x plus y whole square minus 2 times 3 is 6 and here we will split this square root on both the numbers so square root of 9 is equal to 3 and square root of 13 will be the same next we will shift this constant term to the right hand side so it will become x plus y whole square it will become 6 plus 3 into square root of 13 now again we will take square root on both sides to find the value of x plus y so taking square root on both sides here this square and this square root will be cancelled with each other so only x plus y are left and here it will be plus minus square root of 6 plus 3 times square root of 13 
so this is the required answer that we need to find in this math problem and this is our solution